Univision, the largest Spanish-speaking channel in America, is under fire for what critics are calling beyond a softball interview with you-know-who. Plus, canceling a rebuttal from a Biden administration official and pulling Biden campaign ads before the interview. Ooh. Now, top Univision anchor Leon Krauss abruptly left after this, and Latino celebrities like John Leguizamo and you know who. Are Don't call me you know who. Call me Anna. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. It's like being called Anna. Voldemort. <laughs> And Anna are kind of saying, what the hell's going on over there? And some folks are calling for a boycott. Why is Univision going through this? And what is the, what's happening here, Anna? I'm going to ask you. What the hell is going on there? Yeah. I've gotten so many calls in the last 10 days saying, I won't even feel <laughs> What the hell is happening yeah. in Univision? Because, look, Univision, as you said, is the giant in Spanish news. And yeah. in Spanish news, there's a ton of misinformation in our community newspapers, in our radio stations. This is the place where Latinos, Spanish-speaking Latinos, go to get informed, to form educated opinions, to get engaged. It, they help people get out to... They've been really great corporate citizens mm -hmm. and community citizens. Um, they've, they have a tremendous co-anchor named Jorge Ramos, who's I been there for Jorge. decades. And they've got great credibility. I've seen many a strong man, many a corrupt person, leader, squirm under the questioning of Jorge Ramos. But they didn't have Jorge Ramos do this interview. No. They had a guy named Enrique Acevedo, who's supposedly a good journalist, I don't know him, but he sat there like if he was interviewing a, a panda. Yeah. And, you know, somebody described the interview, a political writer, as so soft it could have been pillow stuffing. And then all the things you've mentioned, mm happen and so it's led to all of this speculation and then we learned that Jared Kushner is somehow involved greasing the wheels with Televisa the Mexican side that has bought part of it so this is what I would say to television to Univision viewers use your voice use your remote controls use your purchasing power with advertisers if you've got questions let them know if you are disappointed and troubled let them know because univision has held people accountable it is time for us latinos to hold univision accountable yeah. well and i think that this underscores I think this underscores how seven years into Trump, the media still grapples with how to cover him effectively. And I, I think many can be guilty of it, where we talk about a lot of things, like this civil suit in New York. Yes, it matters. That does not impact tens of millions of Americans. What does, and what I don't think is getting enough attention, is he's talking about rounding up undocumented migrants and putting them into essentially concentration camps. He's talking about an agenda of retribution against former government officials like myself, like Mark Milley and others, when he's back in office. He's talking about reinstating the Muslim ban, which applies to my home nation. Getting rid of NBC. Um, so he's also was, talking about. Where was the? Where was the? Where's the anchor? Why anchor, wasn't the he anchor? He was sitting there oh, smiling at Mar-a-Lago, like if he was interviewing Barney the I dinosaur. I was going to say one of the. I love you. You love me. One We're a problems. happy family. One of the problems with with the interview is that it was hours long. He was rambling. He was. Uh, he there was very little pushback. Mm -hmm. He was allowed to lie about what his administration accomplished and didn't accomplish, what they did, what they didn't do, and and the other piece of it I think that's troubling is that three executives went to Mar-a-Lago for dinner and to hang out. Like there is supposed to be a separation between your interview subject and the interviewer, and especially in the network, you're supposed to cut call it. Just you're supposed to be neutral as a journalist, and we see a lack of neutrality. We also know that the, um, I think the debate, one of the Republican debates was co-sponsored by Fox, Fox mm -hmm. New Business Channel and Univision. And so it seems like they have, they're sort of putting their thumb on the scale for the Republican Party. And the Latino vote is a very important vote. When did the vote. shift happen though? Because there was it a It seems to have happened in the past. Well, well La Televisa, Latinos are six, Televisa which is uh, a yeah. Mexican uh, network, the largest Mexican network in Mexico, has bought 45% of Univision, which is all they are allowed to buy under current law because a foreign entity can't mm -hmm. own the majority of a network. And, and that's, that's part of lot. what people are speculating. Yeah. Do they want want that law changed. But yeah. even so, journalists themselves, Maybe. regardless of the parent company, Maybe. have a duty to be neutral, to try to be as objective as possible, and to fact check. And that's the challenge with Trump, is he bulldozes people, the most seasoned journalists. I think pre-taping interviews with him and then allowing yourself to edit in fact checks throughout, yeah. because the public doesn't even know yeah, what yeah, is real and what's not. He wasn't bulldozing anybody, because there was literally nobody was, to well, that, Again, but go through and chatting. fact check. I mean, well, hold on. There is a legal note. Because that's what we do here on ABC News. Yeah. 
Televisa Univision CEO Wade Davis sent a note addressing the controversy, writing, quote, our goal is to cover candidates from all political parties, Democrats, Republicans, and independents, and to assure Hispanics of the most comprehensive access to information that will help them make educated decisions at the ballot box. When were they going to do that? Well, that, well, not with this interview. It, they it, didn't educate it anybody. It strikes with me this odd that the rebuttal interview with President Biden was canceled. Was canceled. Was canceled. Yeah. yeah. And the ads were canceled after yeah. they had been purchased. Univision, watch out. 